All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to replace the master cylinder in any year Nissan 370Z or G37. A couple reasons you would want to do this and replace your master cylinder is because your clutch pedal is stuck to the floor, it's soft, you have no pressure in your clutch pedal. It's usually because the seal in the master cylinder has broken or gone bad and there's now hydraulic fluid behind the piston. You can tell because your clutch fluid is going to be low, obviously the symptoms with the clutch pedal actually. And this doesn't necessarily mean that it is 100% your master cylinder. It could also be that there's air in the lines or your slave cylinder has gone bad. But I am like 90% sure that this is the master cylinder, that this is what's going on with this Z specifically. So we're going ahead and we'll go ahead and replace that today. First things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to empty this reservoir and get as much brake fluid out of these lines as we can. So when we remove these lines, we don't spill brake fluid all over the place. I don't want a messy workstation. I'm pretty sure you don't either. So what we're going to do is we're going to get under the car, which we already have the car jacked up. We're going to find the bleed nipple for the clutch fluid, which is under that black rubber cap right there we're going to remove that cap we're going to loosen that nipple just a little bit it doesn't have to be uh, you don't want to take it off just loosen it we're going to hook this we're going to hook this hose in this bottle up to that nipple and we're going to get inside the car and we're going to press the clutch a few times until that reservoir and these lines are as empty as can be then we'll remove those lines all right, so like I said, you're gonna twist this nipple, not all the way off, but just to loosen it. For those of you doing this at home, this is a 5 16 Just gonna loosen it. It's good to put a rag under this so that you don't get anything on your floor. But once it's loose, just take your hose and your bottle. Try to put it on. Oh, I need both hands. As you can see the hose is on the nipple you can see the bottle over here laying on the rag slowly dripping into that bottle what we're going to do is i'm going to get inside of the car now and i'm going to press the clutch a few times try to empty this and as i'm pressing the clutch you'll see the bottle fill up that's draining that reservoir and these lines of the brake fluid <laughs> So now I'm gonna just remove this bottle, remove the hose. We'll close this back up. Just doing it finger tight for right now. There's no point in tightening it back down since we're about to remove the mask cylinder anyway. I'm gonna slide on out of here. And there you have it. There's my brake fluid. Super black, it's disgusting. But as you can see, the reservoir is empty now. These lines are mostly empty. We'll clean all this up with a rag. But for now, it's time to start getting the master cylinder off. I'm gonna throw that away. So it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but the next thing we're doing is actually under the dash, the driver's side of the car. There's the master cylinder right there with the black boot with the little rod sticking out of it. If you look at the center of the screen, that gold bolt and that gold bolt those two are coming out along with this carter pin that is right there. That carter pin is going to come out. Then when we remove the hoses out from under the hood, the master cylinder should just slide right out. All right, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get it on video because, you know, I saw it. But here's the two nuts and the carter pin with the key. As you can see, missing from right there, right there. The carter pin was right here, and you can see that it's loose now. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's loose. It's not up there anymore. So we're going to put these somewhere safe so we don't lose them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this hose, remove that hose, 
and hopefully it just slides right on out with no problems. Hopefully I didn't jinx that, so wish me luck. So before I continue, one thing that helped me get these bolts and this carter pin from up here was this tw size 12 deep socket, this extension, this extension, this little elbow joint, the elbow joint and this short extension really helped getting the bolt from up here. And the black extension alone was enough to get the bolt from right there, which yeah, right there. And then I just used needle nose pliers to get the carter pin. Just grabbed onto it, pulled it down, slid right on out. And there you have it. That is your master cylinder, bro. So I know y'all didn't see it because I had to turn camera off. I had to use my flashlight. It, I was getting very frustrated. But I removed the black plastic off so I had more room to work. And I basically just pushed the gauge line out of the way and just wiggled it until I could finesse it out because let's see if I can see it. Where this bolt is right here, this bracket, it was smashed up against it. It wouldn't come out. But yeah, I ended up tearing in the camera off using my flashlight, just wiggling in here as you saw at the beginning of that clip just now, pulling that out of there. Guys, this is the old master cylinder. And this is the new one. We just got this in today from Z1. As you can tell, it's a new day. But this is brand new from Z1. Basically, we're just gonna throw this in there the same way we took it out. We're gonna throw this in. We're gonna bolt it down. We're gonna hook up the hoses, fill this up with hydraulic fluid, bleed all the air out of the lines. And then we're gonna see if that fixes our issue. So yeah, let's get to it. video we got the two bolts on and the one carter pin on so the master cylinder is good to go as far as under the dash now we're going to come in here we're going to hook the rubber hose up to this red piece and we're going to hook the metal line into where that white clip is once we do that we're going to hook the rubber hose to this we're going to wipe this out with a paper towel and fill it up then we'll bleed the lines out cleaned and wiped up the inside of this we got the hoses connected everything's put together we went ahead and set up the bottle down here clean bottle with the hose up to the drain we loosened it already we're going to fill this up with dot four we're going to press the clutch a few times to fully clean the system i got two of these because i know we're going to go through it then uh, once the system's fully clean and only clean oil is coming out, then we're gonna close it, fill it up.
repeated that step a couple times of filling it up, bleeding it out. This is what your clutch should look like. Goes down and back up by itself. It's good, it's firm. It's the way it should be. We already closed the bleed nipple. We already filled the reservoir back up. About to take it for a test run. As you saw in the last clip, everything is working great. The pedal's going down with some pressure behind it. It's coming back up by itself. I actually drove to and from work today, which is about a 45 minute drive there, and then a 45 minute drive back. I had no issues whatsoever out of the clutch. As you saw, I also went through all my gears. Everything's working great. It got rid of the soft clutch issue. So there we go. That's the end of today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. We'll be posting a lot more here soon.